ZBrush can work with poly painting as well as bitmap texture. In order to apply textures or convert poly painting to textures, we have to create a UV layout, which is a fancy way of saying that we have to create a flattened version of the model so that a 2D image can be mapped onto the 3D surface. ZBrush has uh, some automated tools to make this fairly simple. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so we have the dog model over here and as you can see, it's fully painted. So if we go a, a one level down, okay, and the level up, you can see that it's made out of different kind of subdivisions levels over here. Okay, so uh, if I've got this texture poly painted on, I can easily convert that into, uh, you know, a texture from here. But as I said before, it should be, uh, uh, there should be a UV map on it. So this can be easily done from the Z plugin and let me close this one and then here we have a plugin called UV master so what I will do here is I will just click over here so I can dock this uh, over here so I don't have to keep on going back and forth okay so now you can see that I have here the UV map or uh, UV master plugin over here now UV master plugin is a very strong plugin inside the ZBrush which can create different kind of UVs different in a different ways okay so now uh, what we are going to do here is that we are going to be applying uh, or creating a UV map now to simply uh, what you need to do is that you just have to go and press on the unwrap as soon you will do that it will ask this a uh, function requires that you must be at the lowest subdivision level please go to level one and try again so that means I have to be on the lowest subdivision level so what I will do here is that shift press D a couple of times to go back to my lower subdivision level then I will click on unwrap and once I will do that you can see it will process everything and it says in the end that one island generated and 2.3 second island is basically that UV map it's, a, it's a, another uh, fancy word for that you can have multiple islands and you can have one so just like that now when i'm done i will just press uh, d a couple of times to go back to my the, uh, to my higher subdivision level now we cannot see the result right away but we just could go over to uv map and click here uv map there is an option and click over here on the morph uv now what it will do is that it will visualize how our map is generated so if i will click on the morph uv and uh, it will show you how this is being uh, unwrapped so nicely it has been done over here okay but some of the part you will notice that they are quite uh like you know uh shrinked like over here Oops. or here and here okay now one good thing about uh, the this morph UV is that you can paint right over here. Like suppose I don't want the texture to paint. Maybe I can paint with the black color. Okay. And I can directly paint over here as well. And I'm inside the stroke mode. Okay. Oh, sorry, drag correct mode. So that's why it's making something like this. But it's okay. So if I will paint over here, so you can see that I'm doing this kind of paint directly here okay and if i will press the morph uv again it will be going it will go back here and those uh details which i had just painted uh, it will be still there okay so now as i was saying that uh these small pinching area are there just because uh you know it automatic it have automatically uh generated this map and it's have uh, you know you can uh, this is basically what it did and it's just sort of a cut of the model like a like a model cut out wide open and splayed it out uh, just like this now because this is a relatively complex model with limbs and tails 
okay, and ears and all those things. Some things uh, can be stretched in or stretched out. That's why you have these kind of uh, effects. Okay, this can be uh, you know uh, fixed. So if you can see these parts have some strange things happening to them, uh, it's only because of that. And part of the problem is that Zebras is trying to cut this complicated object into one single layout. So it is all single layout and it's trying to put everything in a single layout. And sometimes that's too much uh, for it to handle. So let's go ahead and click on the Morph UV back. So we can go back to our regular view. Okay. And as you know that uh, this model is... Uh, already painted and you can download this uh, we have used this uh, exercise before the same exercise file before but this is quite little different because I have applied polygroups in it so if I will press uh, shift F here so you can see there are some polygroups here let me do one thing let me turn off my line here so you can see the polygroups. so you can see there are some polygroups as well over here are there now why I was showing you the polygroups because you can unwrap the UVs using the polygraph. So we can actually use these polygraphs to split the UV layout into separate shells. To do that, inside your UV master, you have an option here called polygraphs. So what it will do is that if I will click uh, over here on the polygraph, it will activate the polygraph option here. And if the symmetry is on, so it will apply both at the same time, but I don't want that. I will turn off the symmetry. And only with the polygroups, I will unwrap it again. So it will do that thing. And again, it will give me that error because I'm on the highest subdivision level. So shift D a couple of times here. So I can go back to my uh, lower subdivision level. Then I will apply unwrap again. And uh, once it is done, I can go back to my higher subdivision level. Now let's see how our uh, like map is now generated with the help of the polygraph. So if I will go click over here and then you will notice that all those polygroups, let me turn this on, all these polygroups are converted into a single shell which is avoiding that stretch or pinching which was happening before. And this helps the layout to be more efficient. Let me turn this off back again and come out of this. So using UV Master and ZBrush is a very fast way to get some quick UV layout results. However, if you need to be very precise, for example, if you are making a model for games, for example, you need to be much more efficient with the way you lay out this. You can see there's uh, some uh, open area, some gaps. It's not utilizing the space as e efficiently as it could. Now, if you're going towards animation or 3D printing, it's really not as necessary. But if you're uh, going for video games and you're making the assets for video games, you want it to be very efficient. So for games, you might want to use a separate program for this. But for basic purposes, this will work just fine. So go ahead and click on the Morph UV wherever you want to see that. You can still paint on it. And one thing you can do is that, is suppose I want to know from where to where I can, you know, paint something. So I can temporarily put uh, with a small brush, like, okay, I want something. Oops, let me turn back to dots. So I can say, okay, I want to do something here. Okay, from here to maybe here. So I will just make some marks here. So I want something here. I'll go to the morph UV. And once I'm here, I know here is where I want to draw something at, uh, like S. And once I'm done, I can take the white tool and remove, uh, sorry, white color here and remove this. So this is easily, you can use your, uh, morph uvs if you want to especially you want to create something flat and very quickly you can do that because when you are uh, you are in this mode so it's quite little hard to especially when your object is wrapped around in some areas it's a little hard to paint them so that's where you can go to the in the morph uv and you can uh specially uh paint over there so i hope that's helpful okay
and it's uh, like I use that quite most of the time the, to paint through the morph UVs. So I hope you have liked this tutorial. If you have liked this tutorial, this lesson, uh, you can click on the like button. Please free, uh, feel free to share this with your friends and uh, other people that you might know who wants to learn ZBrush and other applications that we I have already uploaded the tutorials like for 3D Studio Max, Maya, Substance Painter, Illustrators, After Effects, so everything you can find on my channel. So please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. Click on the bell icon. Keep supporting me and get me more subscribers so i can uh, get motivated and start making more contents more tutorials and more courses so till we meet uh, in the next class take care of yourself mm -hmm.